17 and a good, you know, pretty good foul field goal. And then the main thing is the, the bench has got to step up in this game right. because right now the bench difference is 19 to 5 in favor of the Hawks. They're getting what they know. When they come with substitutes, they can score the ball. Both teams are rotating 10 players. Nate McMillan and Doc Rivers going deep into their respective benches. And it's really been paying off for the Atlanta Hawks, which has been the story of their season. Embiid with his first touch here early in the quarter and immediately draws a foul. On up until this point, up until the playoffs, see that the Hawks had only had five national television games, four on ESPN, one on TNT. Uh, in Trey Young's three-year career. And so I said, what does it mean to you to, to finally be on the stage, to be on national television, to t have everyone watching you? And he said, in college, every game that I had was on was on TV, it was on ESPN, and everyone got... Really ...comfortable, and his leadership has really been something to stare at. All right, big move right now by Doc Rivers. They're going to put Simmons on Trey Young in the second half. Let's see if he can stay with them. Can you keep him under control from getting into the bank? Two on one at the other end. Collins couldn't get the alley oh. and knocked away. Simmons covered so much ground to break that up. Curry left it short. And Harris with the rebound. Now that was a great play by Simmons. And there he is again. He'll be everywhere. That's right. Atlanta Hawks. See, so, no, no, how about the quick trap? Over to Collins, who drains the three-pointer. John Collins has been a much in percent. Yeah, now that's all great. We all know that. But the defense right now for Philadelphia just changed. They're going to trap him now. Okay. Let's see if it will work. Embiid missing that shot. Trey Young up court, guarded by Simmons, and there's the trap. Yeah, finds the pocket pass to Capella. Missed it twice and got the second one. Lanes open up, but you have got to understand it's a catch and shoot or a catch and drive quickly. You got to make a quick decision. Danny Green with the left hand inside with a layup. Makes it a 19 point game. Simmons, one of the finalists for Defensive Player of the Year. If you ask his head coach, Doc Rivers, he is the Defensive Player of the Year. Bogdanovich cross court. Solomon Hill made a bunch of those in the first half. This one a little bit short. They right now, they miss Capella once again on, the, on the, the roll down to the basket. Simmons aggressive here to start the third quarter. You can say get deflections now to get your defense in. There you go. And he gets the block on Young. Great play. They corralled Young and hijacked the shot. Green off the mark. Rebounded by Harris. Curry wide open. Green underneath. And the Sixers making a move. Yeah, but are you getting open shots? Sure you are. Simmons he's making them. Boy, he got all the way to the rim. but And he just took him again in a one-on-one -on -one set. See, he has him going backwards. There's no way that he can defend him and yeah. stop the dribble. Ben Simmons at the free throw line. Bogdanovich, meanwhile, picking up his third personal foul. That's the second team foul as Simmons is Utah series. Coverage begins with NBA countdown at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Don't forget, folks, coming right after, after this game, it'll be game seven between the clip miraculously so far that series. Right now, Simmons is one for six on the foul line. Collins with a nice pass to Capella. Uh, nice. He doubles the foul against Embiid. Bogdanovich guarded by Simmons, who's right up on him. Back out to Trey Young, guarded by Danny Green here. Gets by Green, but Green fouls him from behind in those five games at the line. Here in the year, gets to the line over eight times a game. And in the play, because you foul him, it's automatic. And he goes up there freely. He has been managing. Oh, this, this is a fight down there for position. Embiid lost the handle. Bogdanovich comes up with a loose ball. I love the trap. The trap came from the baseline. Herder from the corner for three. Got it. Timeout Philadelphia. Well, okay. Mm. Who's up 20 points. How about that? Okay. But that's what you do. This is about learning from game to game. You got a young basketball team. And this one is far from over. Off the miss. Herder with the rebound. And Trey Young. Staring down Danny Green, this time down the floor as we approach the midway point of the third quarter. 
Game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals, Atlanta and Philadelphia. First of two here on ESPN. Game seven next with the Clippers and Mavs. Bogdanovich says, I gotcha. Bogey with his fourth three-pointer of the afternoon. Now, Atlanta is 16 for 31. 16 for 31 and three. A two at the other end by Embiid, who has been knocking down his mid-range shots this year at a very high percentage rate. Big thing what I like about him today, if they give up a score at the defensive end, he's hustling to get to the post area where he can hurt you. There's Herter, guarded by Curry. Good screen by Capella. Herter at the elbow. Now, I'm not sure he wanted to bank that. Yeah, you're right. It's you're, that type of afternoon uh, for the Hawks. He didn't say bank. <laughs> you and I both know that. Kevin Herter, a native of New York. There's Curry. Oh. Got a clean look from deep, usually lethal. Yeah, was a, there was an offensive foul there where the defender went right, right to the floor. Seth Curry, a career 44% three-point shooter. Well, you look at it, you say, well, if they're 16 for 31, what's Philadelphia? They're 6 for 20 now. It has to change. The percentage has got to change. You're a better three-point shooter.